All right, we're gonna try this again. We're sitting in FitWorks Hybrid Training Gym in DeKalb, Illinois with Brianna Phelan. Brianna is one of our sports performance trainers. She actually is in charge of our athlete training program. And she's a former NIU Division I scholarship softball player from right across town at NIU in DeKalb. So Bri, we were talking a little bit before we lost our Wi-Fi connection. We'll pick up where we were. You said one of the biggest things was kind of making it a priority for student to precede athlete because one day you're going to graduate and you have to do something yeah. and softball's over mm -hmm. or in your case it was softball and one day there was an end to softball right. so it's kind of having a, a plan mm -hmm. and, and i guess you know unless you're playing probably football and basketball yeah. you're going to be hard pressed to really have a long-term professional career playing your sport yeah, absolutely. what about training and exercise what seeing what you see today knowing what you did what do you think is important for kids? Like if they want to go, if they want to make the team in high school, yet alone in college, what do you think is important from an exercise or, or training standpoint? Um, well, I have a going to be 11 year old brother and he's into sports. So that's really cool. So I get to see it from a different perspective. But um, when we get the young kids in here, starting them doing the right mechanics in anything, whether it's movement or running, whatever it is, they're so much better off as they get older because even our strength and conditioning coach at Northern told us that he has to try to break running habits that we've formed our whole lives. And we start out, we're 18 when we get there, you know, and then you got to try to go backwards, but still go forward. So getting the young kids in here, getting them to start working on everything properly at a young age is a huge advantage. It's huge. So it's kind of like, and we talk about this internally sometimes, but Really, when we look at little kids, like age five or six, obviously reading, um, before that, numbers, letters, spelling, et cetera, is important, but we don't spend any time on those movement mechanics, and we know that's important, but you know, having played at the college level, that really, and having had a college strength coach at a, a pretty solid, significant Division One program, when that strength coach is saying, hey, I've got athletes good enough to come in and play a college sport and I've got to break down their running mechanics and then get them to start over. So that seems like there's a lot of opportunity with that. Yeah. What about managing, do you have any examples where looking at having to overcome an obstacle with softball has made you better as a young adult? Oh, absolutely. I mean, athletes are always going to fail, just like everybody else is going to fail. But we have to fail and get over it immediately and get back into what we're doing. So if you fail in a game, you don't have time to feel bad for yourself or out about it or anything like that. You have to let it go and understand where you're at so that the next time, let's say you were hitting, right, and you struck out. The next time you go up to bat, you can't be thinking about that because if you do, then you're setting yourself up for failure. So you always have to let go of your failures as soon as you can because the other opportunities are going to be there. So there's a life lesson or opportunity yep. to be better outside of sport from having failed and then get back on the horse and continue. Or in the case of softball, get back up to home plate and take another swing. Don't just throw in the towel and quit. Right. What else, is there anything else you learned from playing sport or playing sport at that level that makes you better able to exist today or professionally or even in the classroom before you finish your degree work? Oh, I'm sure. I mean, four years of playing with so many different people, and I had two different coaches during the time that I was there. So I was recruited by one set of coaches, and then new coaches took over. So I was learning two different aspects of the game from those people. And then even outside of the game, I mean, anything that you learn on the field, in the classroom, in life, you, if you choose to take it in and carry it with you, then you will. If you choose to let it go and not let it change who you are, then you're not going to learn much from it. But I don't know. I failed quite a bit, and I also ended up being slightly successful. So, so slightly successful is probably an understatement. So, what <laughs> records do you still have? Um, I believe that I ended up getting fourth in NIU's record books for career runs scored. I was never given any kind of confirmation on that, but they were posting like news articles after the games and stuff, and at the bottom it would tell you what people on the team, what goals and um, records they were approaching. And that was one that I was getting close to, so I'm assuming I stand there. So you, what was your all-time batting average? Um, I think I ended in the 
the threes somewhere. So somewhere in the threes? Where? Yeah. I don't know. I All don't right. remember. I know someone on our staff does, and they're not here right now. <laughs> um, did you ever look at breaking those records or actually batting in the threes? And did, did you look at that as something you actually thought about or you believed you could do, or is just something you, you put in the work and practice and it just happened? What was that like? Um, well, my freshman year, as with any collegiate athlete, there's a learning curve. So you graduate high school and you're doing awesome. You're on top of your game. And then you go to college and everything's just different. The game's the same, but the players are different. The strategy's different. It just It's a different feeling. So after your first year of pretty much struggling, you understand the game in its new aspect, and then you, you go from there. And I, yeah. OK. Are there any questions for anybody watching live? All right, as always, if you've got questions, post them below. We'd love to hear from you. Your questions are tomorrow's video content, whether it be here on Facebook Live, on YouTube, or any of our other social media platforms. Uh, Bree, thanks for being willing to do our first former athlete video and for being part of our team here at FitWorks. Um, if you have a son or daughter or you're an athlete yourself, you're interested in training, We'd love to hear from you. We offer an opportunity to try us out for free if you're an athlete. So give us a call. This video, like all of our videos, is brought to you by Eat by Color.